time-wise, a reminder. On any of these breaks, we said we can go to any low potential target. We said could be this uh, 30 to 29 and a half. And what you don't want to do today is get caught. And left standing here at the altar, and it, it uh, jackrabbit on you. So my advice on new lows: scale out, take something. And we still have that 28 as uh, support till broken. So this 30 is a pretty significant target that we're hitting, 30 and a half. And <clears throat> work your trailers, all I can tell you. You know, the 34 is 35, obviously, <clears throat> where we broke, still resistance. And this key rotation right in here now, don't want to see it back up above that 35, 36. Starts to bleed back up. Good night, Alice. And Q still eating into its tail. And we have no angel yet, taking that out. Yesterday's angel was 29 and a half. So I'm assuming that that's the uh, primary uh, support target, meaning that this is what the longs will want to try to defend. We come nine points RTH. Sometimes that last yard is the hardest. And my advice, we said we want to test the 32s. We got them. Anything beyond that is the gravy portion. And strictly up to you to manage trailers if you're playing that way. Grail trades, best in the book. There is a target at 27 and a half. Don't know if we'll get there. First things first, got to get by 30 and a half. And then the 29 and a half. And the umbrella trade is in play, and I am expecting today that we will get some profit taking before the day's done. And usually, going into a holiday weekend, I, I like to think of it wrap it up by 11 o'clock. ID breakdown rule is triggered. And that 29 and a half that we talked about earlier is the dime from the RTHI. And this is the power of understanding where the once you break this 34, you can come back in and test any of these uh, support lows. So all we know is basically this yesterday's low is the key next support needs to go. Or any more? You can win with trailers, gentlemen. Said the shorts will not come out unless they were forced out. Big trade. Low 32, the gravy portion, in my opinion. G2 is 27 and a half, and this obviously is <clears throat> a key today.
Well done, guys. I said I'm not looking for home runs. Just looking for step-by-step -step trading. If you don't peel out at the 29 and a half, uh, reminder time-wise, keep an eye on time. Anytime I come into an angel from the previous day, I respect it. I like to see them get beat. But in hit and run trading, I also like to get paid on once we get a new boat. Try to figure the next logical target and then try to get out just ahead of it. And a reminder, Zeke already pointed out 15 minutes ago, by the way, don't forget, there's 29 and a half. Is a significant area. And that is based on the big swing from the top to that 1553 low. A lot of stuff to keep track of in this business. And the, in the spreadsheets that you know we use and in the charts that we've already gone over remind us of those things. That's why we do that every morning. So that if we get here, and no guarantee we will, we at least have that idea in our mind <clears throat> that a bigger boy may be looking at it that perspective. Very important that you think like a big boy if you want to become one. I think that was a great post. So you've got to beat this zone before we can go down and tackle the, the next zones. Well done, guys. Nice umbrella trade. Keep an eye on time. No angel, but profit taking from smart traders like us. Even if this thing goes another 10 points, I would be happy to be pulling something out. Why? Because you can win the game if you at least accumulate some capital, no matter what. <clears throat>